Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I am Rich. And what we're gonna talk about today is bringing your bike to a nice, smooth, complete stop and a smooth takeoff. What prompted me to talk about this? Two things that occurred. We was on a ride, riding a PCH, and two people was having problems stopping their bikes, and one of them actually went down. The second thing that prompted me to do this video is, prior to going on our bikeation, I got rear-ended. And the reason I got rear-ended and these people dropped their bike is because of what they were doing that I'm gonna talk about that you should not do. And that is feet dragging. So let's cover the first one. We was riding the Pacific Coast Highway. Ride was going smoothly. There was two riders that was having trouble stopping their bike. And if you're having trouble stopping a bike, I mean, you t foot tapping and walking and, and having trouble, then this video is definitely for you. What occurred was, I was riding in four position. The ride leader said, hey, we're gonna stop at this restaurant and grab us lunch. He decided to pull in the parking lot and make a wide turn facing outward. That way, when we finish eating, we all can ride out at the same time. However, rider number two and number three were the feet draggers. Now, you can say what you want about dragging your feet. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just something that will get you in trouble and they were riding too closely to each other. The lead rider made a wide turn. Now rider number two have to come in and make a sharper turn to face outward, and he could not make the turn, so he stopped his bike. Fortunately, his wheel was facing forward. Rider number three, the exact same thing, feet hanging down, he goes old snap. Rider number two stopped a little shorter than he was expecting. So the two things that are gonna happen, and you can't do anything about this, it's gonna happen, two things you are going to maneuver so you want to hit the bike in front of you and you're going to want to stop so you don't hit the bike in front of you they're going to happen simultaneously there's nothing you can do about it it's just the way the human body and mind works so what happened was he done exactly that he went to the left and hit the front brake at the same time bringing his bike down with him and his passenger now the third thing that's not going to happen and there's nothing you can do about it it's physiology. There's nothing you can do about it, is you are not gonna bring your feet up to use that rear brake to come to a complete and smooth stop. The second thing was when I got rear-ended, what was occurring, we were coming to a T-section and there was a stop sign here for people who making the left. And the stop sign was over here for those of us who was making a right. I decided to make a right turn. I'm talking to Karen on my Cena and I said, baby, I'll make this right turn. Traffic is coming, traffic is coming completely like 60, 70 miles an hour. So I stop and I'm waiting for a clearance. Now, rider number two done the exact same thing. He put his feet down before he came to a complete stop. And he looked, make sure it was clear, and he decided to go, but he violated the number one rule in motorcycle. Look where you want to go. He started moving and about time he turned and he realized that I hadn't cleared, I hadn't moved yet. His feet was already down and he panicked, hit his front brake and his feet was trying to stop his bike so he won't rear end me. Unfortunately, he rear ended me which caused a lot of damage to my bike. By the time this video get aired, this should be complete. But, we saw it because we had it on video. And unfortunately, I can't show the video for, well, you know, reasons I can't show it. But that would occur. Feet dragging will get you in trouble all the time. So I'm gonna show you these two things that you should be doing and not putting your feet on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> gold wing passing right now. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna get to it right quick. And I'm gonna show you a third thing where you really don't need the front brake. Now, I'm not suggesting don't use the front brake. My suggestion is use the front and rear brake simultaneously so you will have 100% of your braking power. But toward the end, when you get to that one and two miles an hour, you can release the front brake and use the rear brake only. And I will show you a demonstration of that also. So let me get on the bike and get this thing started. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, 
I'm going to show you what we're talking about coming to a nice smooth stop and I do believe in gearing up fully even in parking lot practice because that's probably the most place that most people drop their bikes in parking lot practice so I'm going to show you I do believe in using the front and rear brake simultaneously that way you will have 100 percent of your braking power and I'm talking about smooth stops I'm speaking of planned stop you know red light stop signs this have nothing to do with emergency braking so I'm coming down here I will use my front and rear brake to get 100 percent of my stopping power and then as I get close I will release the front brake and use the rear brake only take my foot off come to a nice plant and then only put the right foot down if I'm gonna be here for quite some time you know like a red light or traffic and the same goes when you're taking off one foot up and then when you take off all you have to do is just lift one foot and continue to move so the second one I'm going to show you is what is known as the heel roll I'm going to over exaggerate a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm talking about everything's the same 100 percent braking power with the front and rear brake and as I'm coming to about one or two miles an hour I'm gonna take my foot off a little early so you can see it and I put it forward put my foot forward hit that rear brake heel let it roll to a flat position I'm hoping that side camera picked it up so the third thing I'm gonna do is show you that you really really do not need the front brake at all as I stated earlier I wouldn't recommend doing this and I am a big proponent of using the front and rear brake now you can use the front brake to stop I don't know why people think you can't use the front brake in slow maneuvers as long as you have your wheel forward you should not have no problem so what I'm going to do is show you I don't need the front brake at all I'm coming to a stop everything the same my hand is off the front brake a little pressure on the rear brake come to a complete stop a complete stop without using the front brake at all I'll do it one more time to show you it's not that hard and this stuff that we're doing you can practice and you will get it in less than five ten minutes you do it over and over now I'm not <laughs> saying practice releasing your hand off the wheel wheel is straight hand is up complete stop it's just that simple so if you're doing a foot dragging and you're saying well I never had a problem well it's normal never a problem until it becomes a problem if something cuts you off and you need to avoid it you're gonna have problems and even with the rear brake you can stop your bike with the rear brake with the wheel turning unlike what wheel turn stopping with the rear brake not a problem do that with the front brake and you will go down so if you're having a problem coming to a complete stop, then go out and practice for about five, 10 minutes. That's all you're gonna need. And you will find out that your riding becomes a lot better, a lot smoother. And you know you will have a lot more fun when you're doing this. So if y'all riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich and I'm out. Peace.